Hello and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching from. My name is Jackie and I am coming live from Kenya, Kiambu County in a village called Gadanji. And today I'm going to show you how to crochet a very, very beautiful pattern, quite easy and has amazing results. And I'm using a four millimeter crochet size hook and a medium size yarn. To start off, make a slip knot and chain a number that is a multiple of five, for example, 10, 15, 20, and so on. So I am going to make 15 chains. So I have made my 15 chains and now I am going to do single crochet all the way. I'm going to start working my single crochet from the second chain here. And this is how I do my single crochet. I am going to do single crochet all the way till the end. When I get to the end of the row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. I am going to do single crochets for the second row as well. I'm going to start working from this immediate chain. I'm going to do single crochets all the way till the end. When I get to the end of the second row after doing another set of single crochets, I'm going to chain three and turn my work. One, two, three, and turn my work. And now we are going to begin the design that makes this pattern very unique. Yarn over and work into the second space here. Not this one, but here. Pull out, yarn over again and work in the low bureau below here. So now I have five chains on my crochet and I'm going to take them all out. And I'm going to work into the next space here. The same, just repeat the same pattern. Yarn over, insert your crochet into the chain space. Yarn over again and work into the row below. So you want to make yarn a bit loose at this point. Don't make it too tight. And we'll be doing this till the end of the row. Make sure you have five chains on your crochet. When you only have one chain left, do a double crochet. Chain one and turn your work. So we are going to do single crochet again. Thank you. 
So when you get to this part, you're going to work into the third chain, one, two, three, do a single crochet there, chain one and turn your work. We are going to do another set of single crochets again. When you get to the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. We are going to do another row of single crochet again. This is now our third row since we stopped this pattern. It's now the third row of single crochets. When you get to the end of the row, chain three and turn your work. One, two, three. Okay. So once you turn your work, we are now going to repeat this pattern here. Yarn over and start crocheting into the second space. Avoid this one. Go into the next space. Yarn over, work into the row below and take them all out you should have five five chains on your hook <clears throat> excuse me yarn over insert your crochet into this space here the chain space and then work into the row below and take all five chains out. Be free to use another color. You don't have to use a single color. If you wish to add another color of yarn, do so. So when you only have one chain left, you're going to do a double crochet into that space. Chain one and turn your work. And now we are going to do a single crochet for this next row.
chain one and turn your work and then we are going to do another row of single crochet Sorry for that noise, someone is opening one of the doors around. Then you get to the end of the row, chain work and turn your work. So we are going to do another row of single crochet. Then when you get to the end of the row, chain three, one, two, and three. And now we are going to yarn over and start crocheting from this space, not this one. Yarn over again and work into the row below. And take out all five chains on your hook, yarn over Mark into the row below. Once you have five chains, take them all out. When you get to the end of the part of the row, do a double crochet at the end. Chain one and do now the three rows of the single crochet. This is a pattern I had made earlier. This is the front part of the pattern. And this is the back part of the cut pattern. I really love this pattern. I enjoyed doing this tutorial. I hope you liked it as well. I hope you get a chance to try the tutorial. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for sharing my videos, for liking my videos. I don't take it for granted. Happy crocheting and have a great time. God bless. Bye.